There are more than 18 million veterans living here in the United States, each one sacrificing so all of us can succeed. All soldiers have stories from their service, some willing to share them more than others. Our Jonathan Wall and Sarah Wagner found many of them right here in Kentuckyana. And this morning, they're introducing you to just a few of the men and women, the brave men and women, who we all thank for the freedoms we have today. Louisville's Belmont Village may be a far cry from boot camp. It's bright building, a stark contrast from the barracks and bases. But many here remember when those other places were home. 52 to 55. 43 to 46. 53 to 55. 45 to 47. I served from April of 1943 through uh, Thanksgiving Day of 1945. They've now been out of the military far longer than they were in it. The decades have come and gone, but those years are far from faded. We saw a sign that says, join the Marines. And that's what we did. <laughs> I was in the Army in a, in a field artillery battalion. Well, my main job was over with garden duty. I garden duty and I watched everything. Mother was in the First World War. She was a nurse. Daddy was in the First World War. So I thought, why not? A decision for some, a requirement for others. All of us at that age knew that at one time or another, soon we were going to go into the armed services because everybody was. A part of life that became a part of who you were. You make the glory out of you quick. Took him one day. I was one of these playboys and I was uh, kind of cocky. And boy, they took that out of me right away. <laughs> a call to serve. They all say they'd answer again. I think it'd be good for everybody to go through it and get that discipline. It was good. It was really good for me. These are the stories of the greatest generation. A title these men and women will likely never claim, but one they've more than earned. Just proud to have been a part of it. And uh, just so proud of our country that... Uh, it came to the aid of England when nobody else did. Now coming up tomorrow during the Morning Brew, we'll share more stories from these incredible veterans. It is always great to hear their stories. From coming face to face with General MacArthur to marching through Normandy just a few weeks after D-Day. No shortage of unique experiences here. You can also read about their experiences and their time in service right now on our website. It's all for you at whas11.com. Let's get you